Honey, can you tell me what name you got above your head? Princess. Stop messing around. I'm being serious. What does it say? No, I'm not. It really says princess. Whatever. I'll just ask you when you get older. Hey, princess, where's your prince? Haha, <laughs> very funny. We all know you're lying. Why would I lie about something like this? It really says princess. Yeah, in your dreams. Let's go, guys. Are they bullying you because of the princess thing? Wait, you don't believe me either? I want to, but the real princess is at the palace right now. I don't even know anymore. Hey, mom. Hey, honey, can you turn on the TV for yeah, me? Yeah, sure. Should I order some food? The palace has released a statement about the dethroning of the princess. The queen has found out she's not her real daughter. I don't even know if that's useful, but... Okay. Good morning. Morning, mom. I made you pancakes. <gasps> Thanks. Actually, I'm not feeling hungry. I'm feeling a bit sick. Are you sure? Just eat one at least. No, thanks. Hey, Amara. Hey. Oh, one second. My mom's just calling me. Aren't you going to answer? Um, no. Anyways, let's just go to class. Okay, class. You're free to go home now. Hey, you want to come mine? Nah, I need to go home. I have a lot of homework to do. Actually, I can just do it at yours. Let's go. Hey, you think I can sleep over tonight? Yes, of course. Amara, your mom's downstairs. She says she wants to talk to you. Share the same pain or share the same bank account as my soulmate? If I share the same bank account as my soulmate, I might be poor because he might not have money. So, I'll share the same pain. Hurry up, Amara. You're gonna be late. <sighs> yes, mom. Be patient. Ouch! Poor soulmate. He probably felt that. Hey, Amara. Hey, Jason. Why is your neck red? I woke up and it was already like this. Maybe a ghost was strangling me in my sleep. What? I'm just joking. I'll see you later. Maybe it was just a coincidence that he had a burnt mark on his neck. What did you choose this morning? To feel my soulmate's pain. You should have chosen to share your bank account. I chose to share my bank account and look at me now, I'm super rich. Hey Amara, can I stay at your house? No, sorry, you're a guy. My mom would never allow that. Please, I'm so afraid of my parents. Why is he afraid of his parents? Why is there so many bruises on your legs? Did you have a fight with someone? These bruises are from my soulmate, mom. Jason didn't come to school today. Why is everyone looking at me? You don't realize what's on your stomach? What do you mean? <sighs> your stomach's bleeding. Let's go to the hospital, quickly. <sighs> There's definitely something wrong with my soulmate. Choose a soulmate who can't walk or can't see. Mom, what if I don't choose anything? They're both equally bad. Don't worry, after your soulmate meets you, the curse will go away. <sighs> okay, if so, I'll choose can't walk. Guys, are there any guys in school who can't walk? No, why? In school, we can all walk. I have to meet my soulmate as soon as possible so he can walk again. Oh, good luck. Amara, there's bad news. What bad news? If we don't meet our soulmates within 24 hours, the curse will be permanent. 24 hours? Yes. Amara, you can swim, right? Yes, sir, I can. Will you represent our school by taking part in a swimming competition against another school? Another school? Yes, that's right. Are you sure you want to compete against the other school? Don't you know about the swimming athlete guy? He's really good. Really good? Very. There's only one hour left. If I don't meet my soulmate, he won't be able to walk forever. Amara, I have amazing news. Your opponent from the other school can't move his legs, so you have a really good chance to win. Must have a girlfriend. Has your soulmate lost anything? Not yet. Earrings. At least his girlfriend has a good taste. Who wears red lipstick these days? I really need to get you some AirPods. Mom, it's almost Christmas Eve. Have you wrapped the presents yet? Sorry, honey. I don't have enough money to buy presents this year. Oh, not fair. We never get any presents for Christmas. There has to be something I can do to get money. I can just sell things I don't use anymore. Where are you going? Um, I'll be right back. Hey, would you be interested in buying- Sorry, I don't have time. I'm in a rush. Say hello to Hi, do you want to buy this- I'm not interested. Hi, would you want to buy this- Whoa! You dropped your wallet! Wait! Oh my gosh, was that the prince? Whoa. There's so much money in here. The palace? 
He must work there. I need to give this back. Hey, I'm here to give this to Liam. You mean Prince Liam? What? There's only one Liam here and it's Prince Liam. Let me see. Yeah, that's him. I'll let him know you came by. Wait! I kind of want to give it to him in person if that's possible. Okay, but hurry up. <clears throat> hey, do you know where Prince Liam is? Yeah, you're speaking to him right now. I got your wallet! Oh, I knew I forgot something. <laughs> well, here it is. Thank you so much, really. How can I repay you? Oh no, it's fine. Just consider a Christmas present. I better get going, my family's waiting for me. Wait! This might sound crazy, but I would like to invite you and your family here to have Oh dinner. no, you don't have to. I want to, as a thank you. So, what do you say? So, what do you say? Sure. Perfect. See you tomorrow then. Here's an invitation card. Mom, you won't guess what just happened. Yes. Where have you been all this time? Forget about that. We just got invited to have dinner with the royals. Let me see. It's a Christmas miracle. I know. I need to find something to wear. This is perfect. Wow, you look beautiful. I love you, Mom. I love you too. You ready to go? Let's go. Hi, we're here for the Christmas dinner. Hey, aren't you that girl that returned the wallet from yesterday? That's me. Pleasure to have you back. Enjoy the dinner. Thank you. Your Majesty, I want to introduce you to my mom and my sister. Pleasure to meet you both. Pleasure to meet you too. By the way, call me Liam. Oh. Are you ready to come inside? Everyone's waiting for you. Let's go. Mmm, the food's amazing. I got you something. Ooh, a flower crown. How do I look? Just like the perfect princess. It's the best time of the year. Thank you so much. This night was great. Can we come here again tomorrow, please? Oh no, I don't wanna... Please do come. We loved having you here tonight. Really? See you tomorrow then, Liam. See you tomorrow, Amara. Amara's gonna be a princess. Me? No. That's a bit crazy. Yeah, I can see in his eyes that he likes you. Oh, come on. He's probably just nice to everyone. Yeah, right. Your boyfriend sent you a letter. Yay, we're here. I'm so excited. Hey. Hi. I'm going to go play with the kids. Okay. Oh, and uh, I'm just going to go speak to someone over there. I guess we're the only ones left. I guess so. Do you want to have a walk around the garden? Sure. Let's go. The flowers are so beautiful. They really are, aren't they? They used to be my mom's favorite. Really? Yeah, but she passed away when I was eight. They're the only thing I have left of her. Oh, I'm so sorry. How'd she pass away? In a plane crash. And I picked these out for you. I'm really glad you came today. Christmas hasn't been the same since my mom passed away, but you've changed that. That's so sweet. There's one more thing. I want to ask you something. There's something I want to ask you. What is it? Hi guys, we're back. I'm just going to go take care of some things. Are you okay to stay here while I'm gone? Yeah, of course. So, where'd he take you? Around his garden. They had such beautiful flowers. And what else happened? He asked me to be his girlfriend. Oh my gosh, no way! See? I told you he liked you. What did you say? I said yes, of course. I'm so happy for you. This is so exciting. Thanks again for an amazing night. I'm really glad I got to spend it with you. Me too. I was thinking and why don't you guys stay over? We have more than enough room at the Yeah, house. sure, we can stay over tonight. No, I meant, why don't you move here? That way we could spend more time together. Yes, I want to live at the palace. I'm okay with it if you are. So, what do you say? I would love to stay here with you, Liam. Yay, we're gonna live at the palace. I'm already on Earth, but I'm curious about Planet Reverse. What even is it? Hey, Mom. <laughs> Why are you crying? Your sister just died because she chose the planet reverse. Died? Yeah, so please don't choose that planet. You didn't choose it, did you? No, I uh, chose to stay on Earth. Okay, good, honey. What? Why are the number of students decreasing? Everyone who chose the planet reverse died yesterday. Wait, so people chose yesterday? Yes, that's why they're gone. You didn't choose it, did you? Me? No, of course not. I chose Earth. Good. 
Why do people even choose planets if they know they'll die if they choose the reverse planet? People didn't die because they chose the planet. Then why did they die? Because of our teacher. If he knows that someone chose that planet, he'll get rid of them immediately. But why? He said that in the past his son chose that planet and that he never came back. Really? There'll be a planet check soon. A planet check? Yes, the teacher will catch and kill whoever chose the reverse planet. Why do you look so scared? You didn't choose it, did you? No, I chose planet Earth. Okay, then you can relax. There's still a long time before I go to the reverse planet. What if I get caught by the teacher? It's your turn for me to check what planet you Yes, chose. sir. Before I check, you have to close your eyes. So, it turns out there's still people who chose the reverse planet. I'm sorry, sir. Please don't kill me just yet. I already warned you. Don't choose the reverse planet. But your son is still alive. No, my son died because he chose the reverse planet. I promise I'll bring your son back. But you have to allow me to go there first. You're lying. You just want to go there. Catch her now. Shut up. Stay here. Why am I here, sir? I've told someone to come and kill you. I hope I go to the reverse planet before I get killed. Just wait right there. It's useless for you to try and persuade the teacher to go. Why is it useless? Because his son is still alive and he knows that. He just doesn't want anyone to go there. But why doesn't he want anyone to go there? Because there's something on the reverse planet, but no one knows why it is. Only his son does. There's only five seconds left. Don't worry, I'm gonna go and see for myself. Three, two, one. Don't worry, I'm gonna go and see for myself. Three, two, one. Oh, I'm already on planet reverse. Wait, why is the sun setting from the east? Shouldn't it be setting from the west? Because we're in planet reverse. Everything is opposite here. Huh? Everything is opposite? Yes. <gasps> this is my house. Amara. Mom. Go away. Don't ever come to this house again. I don't like Why you. don't you like me? You ask too many questions. Oh yeah, on planet Earth, Mum loved me. Meaning here, because everything is opposite, she hates me. Good morning, Amara. Jake, you're rich? I've always been rich. No, on planet Earth, you used to be poor. What? Oh right, I keep forgetting. Everything is reversed here. That's why you're rich. Hey guys! Amara, why do you look like a girl? Because I am a girl. Whoa, there's two Amaras in one place. One is a girl and one is a boy. Wait, so on this planet I'm a boy? Yes. On Earth, our teacher used to be so evil. I wonder what he's like here. Guys, why are you all studying alone? Where's the teacher? Did you forget that the teacher's been asleep for a long time? Asleep? How come? Because his powers were taken by his twin, who is now on Earth. Why can't anyone help him? How are we supposed to help him? We can't make it to planet Earth. And besides, the teacher on planet Earth is evil. That's true. If only I could go back to planet Earth and persuade the teacher not to destroy planet Reverse. You can't persuade him. You have to kill him. Why? Because as long as the evil teacher is still alive, we're always going to be in danger. So I have to go back to planet Earth? But how? You have to eat this chocolate and make sure as soon as you get there, you get rid of him. Okay. Don't worry, our school will have a teacher soon. I'm gonna go back to Earth and get rid of the evil teacher so our teacher here can wake up. Are you sure you can do it? I must be able to. I'm on Earth again? No wonder everything looks normal. Turns out Amara went to Planet Reverse. Sir? Did you find my son yet on Planet Reverse? Huh? Your son? Didn't you say your son was gone? I knew you were lying. What? What do you mean? Sir lied to everyone. His son is still alive. No, he's missing because he went to Planet Reverse. I also know you're planning on destroying Planet Reverse. That's it. You've said enough. Come with me. Stay there. Don't try to escape. Yes, I'm going back to Planet Reverse in two hours. No, that timer means how long there's left until Planet Reverse is destroyed. What? How do I stop this? You must kill the teacher before it's too late. But how do I do it? Look for the red button that's in the teacher's office. That button will kill him, but you have to be careful for him not to see you. How do I escape from here? There's no way out. Hey, actually, I've liked you for a long time. Really? Do you want to be my boyfriend? Yes, I've been waiting for this day for so long. But there's one condition. 
What's the condition? Can you get me out of here? I'm really hungry. Of course, babe. Thank you so much. I don't have much time left. I have to quickly kill our teacher before it's too late. Where's the red button? And what do you think you're doing? What does it look like? I'm trying to get rid of you before you destroy Planet Reverse. Don't press that button. Why not? Because the teacher on Planet Reverse is trying to destroy Planet Earth. No, you're lying. Everyone on Planet Reverse told me you're the one who's trying to destroy their planet. Just trust me, you're gonna regret this. No, I'm not. I'm gonna save Planet Reverse. Mom, what are these choices above my head? You have to choose between eating a shrimp and taking out your ponytails. I'm allergic to shrimp, so I'll choose to let go of my ponytails. You can't, honey. They're magic ponytails from our ancestors. If you let go, bad things will happen, so just eat the shrimp. Okay, Mom. Oh, look, it's the blind girl with the ponytails. I know, right? She never does any other Are you not tired of talking about me all the time? Hey, the blind girl has the courage to answer now. Class, we will hold a poetry reading competition next week. Can I join, sir? How are you going to join? You're blind. You can't read. I can memorize it. I'm sorry, Amara, but you can't take part in this competition. But, sir! It's a shame. You're not used to this school. Why am I blind? Why can't I just be like the other kids at school? Hello, excuse me, I'm new. Do you know where the library is? Uh, it's in... I'm sorry, I didn't know you were blind. That's okay. I'm Chris, by the way. I'm Amara. Look, it's the blind girl. Let's have some fun. Hey, pony, Give hey. it back! It's right here, take it. <laughs> She's so stupid. Hey, stop, you guys are really mean. Who the hell are you? You don't need to get involved. He's kind of handsome, you know. Do you want to be friends? I don't want to be friends with evil people like you. Ugh, he's so arrogant. Amara, let's go. Thanks, Chris, for helping me. That's okay. I'm your new friend, after all. Wow, I have a friend. You really don't have any other friends? No, they all think I'm weird because I'm blind. They call me Blind Pony. Calm down. From now on, I'll always be on your side. My throat feels weird. What's wrong? Because my mom made me eat shrimps and I'm allergic to it. It was either that or I had to let go of my ponytails. Why don't you let it loose? She says something bad will happen if I do. I'm curious. Why don't we try to remove the ponytails? No, we can't do that. That's risky. What if you're blind because of the ponytails? What? No, that's crazy. I've been blind ever since I was a child, Chris. But you've also had those ponytails since you were oh, a child. Oh, you're right. Just take them off, Amara. I'll take care of you. I guess it's worth a try. I guess it's worth it. Chris? Amara, can you see? Yes, I never thought I'd be able to see again. But it's weird. Why has my mom made me blind all this time? There must be a reason. Did your mom ever give you anything else? Mom makes me apple juice every day, but it tastes weird. Well, make sure you don't drink that apple juice anymore. We don't know what's behind all of this. Okay, Chris. Mom, I'm home. Honey, I missed you. You didn't take off your pigtails, did you? No, Mom. Good, honey. Honey, I made you apple juice. Drink it. Okay. Hurry up. It will soon be afternoon. Mom, I'm going to a friend's house, okay? Be careful. Did you drink the apple juice? Yes, Mom. Look, there's the blind girl again, but why is her hair down? Hey, guys, I can finally see you. Why aren't you blind? I'm normal now. Oh, so you've been fooling us all this time? Yeah, she only did it for the attention. You freak. Chris, where are you? Hey, Amara, sorry I'm late. Are you okay? What's that drink? This is the apple juice I've been talking about. I've been drinking it ever since I was a kid. That doesn't seem like apple juice to me. The color is off. What color is apple juice supposed to be like? Yellowish. From now on, you have to be careful with your mom. Come to my house. I want you to meet my dad. Okay. Dad, this is my friend. Do you know what that drink is? Huh? Where did you get this drink from? My mom gave it to me. That drink isn't just a normal drink. This drink is... Huh? Where did you get this drink from? My mom gave it to me. That drink isn't just a normal drink. This drink is... This drink is prohibited. It cannot be drunk. There used to be only one person who could make this drink. People tried to get the recipe, but it was impossible. Why was it impossible? May I know what your mom's name is? 
Grace. Grace? She was my father's assistant. She's the only one who can make that potion. The effect of that potion made people forget their memories. Then what should we do, Dad, so that her memory can come back? You have to make your mom drink this. Once she does, you'll get your memory back. Okay, I'll go give my mom the drink now. Thank you. You're welcome. Mom, I'm home. Honey, where were you? I went to a friend's house. Friend? Yes, I brought you this drink. They said it's very good for the health. Okay, I'll drink it. You really think I'm this stupid? I know what you're up to. You're trying to trick me. Mom, you should drink from that bottle now. Who gave you this? Answer me. From now on, you can't go anywhere. You know what? You're the reason I'm blind. Why are you so mean to me? I'm your daughter. You asked too many questions. Come with me. <sighs> Let go of me. This is the only way I can keep you from going out ever again. I have to call Chris. Hello, Chris. My mom locked me up. Okay, Amara, I'm coming there right now. Okay, I'm waiting. Amara? Chris? Hey, who's this? Grace. You? What are you doing here? Put an end to what you've done and drink from the bottle I gave to your daughter before I call the police. Okay, I'm gonna drink from it now. <laughs> Amara, what's wrong with you? I remember everything. You're not my mom. I wonder what my strength is. Mom, I'm going to school. Honey, what power did you get? Every time I cry, it rains. Okay then, cry now. It's been two months without rain. I can't just cry like that, Mom. You're such a useless child. Why is it so hot today? Just cry and make it rainy. Mom, you think it's that easy for me to cry? No, but it hasn't rained in over two months. Babe, I brought this for you from the canteen. Oh, just put it on my table. Okay. Um, did you need anything else? No, just leave me alone. As you wish. Why did he speak to me like that? Honey, me and your dad are going on a cruise tonight. No matter what you do, make sure you don't cry, just for tonight. Sure. Hey, babe. Sorry, but we have to break up. What? Why? How can you break up with me? We've been together for three years. Sis, why are you crying? Did you forget mom and dad are on that cruise? Calm down. It's just rain. They'll be fine. Relax. It's just rain. They'll be fine. Breaking news. A cruise ship sunk tonight as the storm keeps getting worse. A cruise sunk? The cruise ship was traveling from Dover to Spain. I hope it's not the cruise my parents are on. Sis, do you remember when mom and dad's destination was on that cruise? I don't know, why? Because there was a cruise that sunk. What did I say? This is all your fault. Wait. Mom would normally have called by now. I'm starting to get worried. Just stop crying. Can you just shut up? You think I'm crying on purpose? Kids, school event cancelled because of heavy rain. This is all my fault. Can you just stop crying? You don't even know what I'm going through. Yeah, and no one cares what you're going through. Mom, come on, pick up. Just accept it. Mom and dad are gone. <sighs> Mom's calling. I knew it. Hello? Hello? How come you have my mom's phone and who are you? Hello? Hello? How come you have my mom's phone and who are you? We need your help. Your mom and dad aren't doing well right now. They can't talk. What do you mean? What happened? We barely survived. We had to swim three hours for the nearest island. What island is it? Hello? No, don't hang up. How am I supposed to find them now? Who was that? My parents are still alive, but they're stuck on some island and I don't know where. Listen to me. You have to stop crying, okay? That's the only way you can help them out. I can't just stop crying. I'm stressed out. Just calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Just think of a good memory. Maybe it will help. It worked. It's sunny. Okay, now let's go find your parents. How are we going to do this? They called you, right? We can take the phone to the police and they can locate where the call came from. Okay. So, did you find them? Yes, they're not very far away. Get the rescue boats ready. We need to get them out as soon as possible. They must be dehydrated. Mom, Dad! We're so happy to see you, honey. Here, have some water. Wait, so you're not mad at me for crying? I mean, you could have chosen another day to cry, but no, we're not mad at you. We're alive, and that's what's important. Why didn't your sister come with you? 
We had a fight. She blamed me for what happened. Hey, don't be mad at her. She probably just did it because she was stressed out. I'll talk to her. Sis, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have blamed you. It wasn't your fault. No, it's fine. Thanks for the apology. How are you? I see you're finally happy. Yeah, I realized that I shouldn't waste my tears on someone that never cared about me. I deserve better. That's so true. I'm glad you finally realized that. Let's just break up. But why, babe? Because I'm a guy. I started this relationship, so I can end it too. You can't really dump me because you're just a girl. Amara, you chose to be a girl, right? No, I chose to be a boy. What? Why would you do that? The guy's the one who starts and ends relationships, right? Not all guys are like that. Didn't I tell you that David isn't good for you? Whatever, you'll never understand. Basically, I had to be a guy who's taller than my ex because he's pretty short. So, I chose to be tall. Look at Amara, she was dumped by the most handsome guy in school. David, right? He's so handsome. Are you sure he's the most handsome guy here? Yes, look around. Is there any other guy prettier than him? There will be. Be a CEO or be a mafia leader. Must be fun being in a mafia. Guys, let's have lunch together. You're David's ex. We were only friends with you because you were dating the popular guy. I'm gonna be his girlfriend soon. What? Let the game begin. Let the game begin. Whoa, this is so cool. I look like a boy. I'm going to pretend to be the new kid at school. Introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. I'm new at the school. What's your name? Um, my name is Sam. Whoa, so handsome. Nice to meet you. Whoa, look at the new kid. He's so hot. Yes, even though the most handsome guy in school is David, I like Sam more. Hey, do you know David who used to be the most handsome guy here? If you steal his girl, you can be more popular than him. Interesting. Okay. Are you the new kid? Yeah. You said your name is Sam, right? Mm-hmm. Leo, do you want to go out and grab a drink? Okay, but um, I don't want my boyfriend David to know. Okay, I'll just go ask another girl. No, wait. Um, I want to go on a date with you. Okay, I'll pick you up at 8. Oh, so this is the guy who dared to ask my girl out on a date. Don't think you're more handsome than me. You're brave trying to steal my girl. Fight me in the ring tomorrow. The one who wins gets the girl. I'm in. Fight me in the ring tomorrow. Whoever wins gets the girl. I'm in. I have to think about how to beat David. I've never competed in the ring before. Hey, if anyone's interested, I just opened the gym. I train people to be stronger. Excuse me, sir. I want to register on your gym. Your muscles are already big. Why do you want to register? Yes, my muscles are big, but... But what? I'm going to be fighting in the ring tomorrow. The ring? Come, let me teach you. So, what do you want me to do? There is a way to win the fight. First task I'm going to give you today is do 100 push-ups. 100 push-ups? Yes, hurry up. My arms hurt. Second task, separate this wood into two. You want me to separate it into two? Correct, hurry up. Ouch. Are you okay? Yeah, it's done. Good job. Okay, the next task is... I'm so tired. Sam, the race in the ring is about to start. David's waiting. Um, okay. Okay, the match will start in three, two, one. Okay, the match will start in three, two, one. Why aren't you feeling any pain? Because you're weak. I don't feel anything. Come on, fight me. Why are you just standing there? You're gonna wish you didn't say that. Even though I was slow, I still feel like I won. Ouch! Well, at least this match is finally done. I'm going home. I will announce the winner later when everyone's gathered. Okay, sir. Wait, but then... When your girlfriend finds out who the winner is, she'll be mine. What? But... According to the agreement. But what if you don't win? She'll be mine. We'll see. Sam, do you know David's ex Amara? Amara? Who's that? David's ex. Since you entered school, I haven't seen her. People are starting to be suspicious. Um, I don't know. Oh, I see. Hi, Sam. Hey, um, David said earlier, if he loses, you'll be mine. He said that? Everyone, the match results are here. The winner is... Hi, Sam. Hey, uh, David said earlier, if he loses, you'll be mine. He said that? Everyone, the match results are here. The winner is... Sam. <laughs> What? There's no way he won. Let's rematch. Just accept the fact that you lost. No, I didn't lose. I was just tired. Yeah, right. I don't care. You might have won, but you're not taking my girlfriend. 
But that was the deal, wasn't it? Hey David, whether you want or not, I don't want to be with you anymore. You're a fool and you're so selfish. Furthermore, I don't need a man in my life to be happy. But wait, I love you. Aw, you just got dumped. Maybe you should start learning how to treat girls better. There's something weird about you. Ever since you got here, you've been wanting me to break up with my girlfriend. No, it's not like that at all. Who really are you? You'll soon find out. Amara, it was you this whole time? I should have known. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. David lost the fight against the girl. Why are you doing this to me? Now everyone's bullying me. I didn't do anything. You were the one who suggested the fight in the ring, so you did this to yourself. Anyways, I need to go. Bye. Honey, look. The news says there's a new queen. She looks exactly like the queen I just grew. That's strange. They actually do look the same. Honey, there's something strange going on. I think our daughter has a special ability. Everything she draws comes to life. How do you know that? This morning she drew a queen and it looked exactly like the queen that appeared in the news. Honey, look. I drew candy. That's good, honey. But you have to listen to me, okay? You can't draw something bad, ever. Otherwise, something terrible will happen. Why? Mommy, I drew a teddy bear. I want it. Honey, give it to your sister. You can just draw another one. Yay! I saw you draw something bad in the ocean. What did you draw? Tell me now. I drew a sea monster who eats everyone they see in the ocean. But your sister's in the ocean. Why would you do that? I know. Why did you do it? Because she stole my teddy bear. I told you just to draw another one. Draw her back to life now. Fine. Oh, thank God you're back. I'm taking that stupid book of yours. No! I don't think you should have taken that book away from her. What was I supposed to do? She's dangerous. We have to send her away. But she's our daughter. We can't do that. Honey, me and your dad are going out for an hour. Don't do anything stupid, okay? Okay. I need to find that book. We're home. How did she get that book? I locked it away in the safe. Don't worry, mommy. I won't draw anything bad again. My parents love. Don't worry, mommy. I promise I won't draw anything bad again. Why is there so many puppies in our house? I drew them. Aren't they cute? But I'm allergic to dogs. Erase them now. No. I'm gonna draw so much candy and an ice cream machine and more animals. This is not okay. You made this place look like a whole farm. No, I didn't. This place is so much more fun now. Honey, I made you your favorite cookie. <gasps> Chocolate. Mummy, I tried drawing a huge living teddy bear, but it's not appearing. Oh, that's too bad. See the cookie you just ate? I put a potion in it, so now you lost all your powers. What? I'm so sorry, honey, but it's for the best. Now, let's get rid of all the animals, shall we? Three, two, one. Are you safe? Yeah, I'm safe. How far is your danger? 300,000 miles away. Oh, so you have nothing to worry about then. Honey, please make sure you lock all the doors and all the windows when I'm Mom, gone. relax. The danger's literally so far away. Aren't you scared? No, why would I be? The danger's like on the other side of the world. You do know that the danger's only purpose is yeah, to find so? you. Yeah, so? I'm not going to walk around worrying about it all day. Looks like someone's going the wrong way. Amora, have you heard? Emily's danger found her. She's gone. What do you mean, gone? I mean gone as in forever. Damn. How did he get so close that fast? No way he actually did that to her. That's actually so funny. Are you okay? Amara, what's wrong? Amara, what's wrong? Nothing. Are you sure? You look a little pale. They're in the same town as me. What? Who's in the same town as no me? No one. I need to go. Honey, why are you locking all the doors? Just in case anything bad happens. Why do you say that? Is your danger closed? No, mom, just please. Leave all the doors closed. Okay, come on, dinner's on the table. I don't really feel like eating right now. Why not? You're always excited for dinner. I'm kind of tired. I'm just going to go to my room. Good night, honey. Love you. Love you too, Mom. Mom, what time is it? It's 6 a.m. Why are you up so early? No reason. I just couldn't sleep. I can't believe I actually made it through the night. Okay, class. I hope you're all ready for the test. Miss, can I go to the bathroom? Attention everyone, please evacuate the school immediately. Please evacuate the school immediately. This is all my fault. Can Amara please make way to the head office? 
Nope, I'm staying here in the bathroom. There is no way I'm going anywhere. Whoever still haven't evacuated the school, you can come out now. It's safe. <sighs> so it worked. All I had to do was hide. Amara, where were you? Are you okay? I'm fine. I was just hiding in the bathroom. I was looking everywhere for you. I thought you were in danger. Oh no, I'm fine. Honey, I'm so glad you're okay. I heard what happened. Apparently someone's danger came to the school. Oh yeah, but they didn't stay for long. I don't think they found the person they were looking for. Mom, where's Liam? Wasn't he supposed to be back from his trip today? Oh, your brother? He'll be here soon. Honey, please open the door. I think Liam's here. Do not open the door. Honey, why are you scared? Mom, just please don't. You can't let him in. I'm not going to leave your brother out in the cold. Wait! Amara, did you miss me? Why do you look so scared? It's not like I'm your danger. Mom, I'm tired. Can I just go to my room? Yes, of course you can, honey. I know this might sound crazy, but I think my brother's trying to kill me. Why do you think so? Because my danger says zero miles away and it happened as soon as he got here. There has to be another explanation. Just try to get some sleep. Make sure your door is closed. I will. Honey, you can come downstairs. Everyone's is gone. Is Liam gone too? Yes. Why are you so scared of him anyway? I'm just going to go to sleep, okay? This is so confusing. Mom? Mom's not here, but I am. Mom? Your mom's not here, but I am. Are you going to kill me? No, I'm not going to kill you. What do you mean? Isn't that like your whole purpose? I'm not going to kill you, at least not for now. I'm going to keep you around for a bit. What does that even mean? Listen to me carefully. You can't tell anyone that you saw me, okay? Otherwise you'll regret So you're expecting me to act like nothing happened? Exactly. Just keep your mouth shut and I won't hurt you. Okay. Hey, Amara, can you stay after class, please? I need to speak to you. Okay, sure. So, what did you want to talk to me about? I'm just making sure you're okay. You don't seem like yourself. Yeah, I'm okay. Are you sure? Did your danger find you? What? Me? Why would you say that? You know you can talk to me, right? I'm not going to tell you. Yeah, I need to go. That's so weird. How did she know? Amara, get in the car now. What? Why are you picking me up? My mom's going to wonder where I am. Don't worry. Your mom knows exactly where you are. Where are you taking me? There's something I need you to do for me. What is it? I need you to become a danger. Wait, what? I need a partner and I thought you'd be the perfect Is that one. like impossible? Of course it's possible and you're going to do it. Out of everyone, why do you want me to be a danger? Because deep down me and you are the same. You just don't know it yet. No, we're nothing alike. Stop talking. Now you're officially a danger. The thing with a bunch of numbers shows how far away the person you need to get is. It looks like we're getting closer. We're here. Perfect. Now get out of the car. Wait, this is my best friend's house. I'm sorry, I can't do this. You don't have a choice. Amara, how did you get in? Are you okay? I'm so sorry for this. Mommy, what's this thing above my head? What's what? It says years until skeleton. And it has numbers next to it. Honey, there's nothing above your head. Hey sis, wanna do something today? No thanks. Please, you only have three years left before you die. Amara, I told you so many times, stop saying things like that. You're scaring your sister. I'm not trying to scare her. I already told you, I can see how much time people have left before they die. Stop with that nonsense. Amara, can you check how many years I have? Yeah, sure. 20 years. That's not true. I don't even know why I asked you anyway, you freak. Do you think she's lying about seeing how many years people have left to live? Yeah, she's definitely doing it for the attention. I don't get it. Why does no one believe me? They just think I'm crazy. Wait. Three days? Wait. Three days? But it said 70. Why did it change to three? Didn't my sister's one also say three days? Does that mean we're gonna die in the same day? Hey sis. Let me guess, you're here to tell me when I'm gonna die again? No. I'm here to tell you I have three days left to live too. Amara, can you please just stop with that? I'm serious, you have to believe me. I'm done with this conversation. Mom, me and Olivia are both gonna die in three days. Amara, we've spoken about this. Can you not go and do something useful with your life, like pack for that camping trip on Friday? Friday? That's in three days. Sorry, Mom, but I have to go. I need to fix this. Olivia, we can't go on that camping trip. You're not gonna ruin this for me, I'm going. Olivia, we can't go on that camping trip. You're not gonna ruin this for me, I'm going. 
please, just listen to me. I don't care. I've been waiting to go on this trip since like fourth grade. Are you sure we can't just stay at home and do something fun? Amara, if you want to stay at home, then be my guest, but I'm going. I'm not going to let you go alone. You guys ready for the trip? So ready. Perfect. We're going to be getting on a short boat trip to the island. Boat trip? Okay, we should be arriving in the next 10 minutes. What was that? I don't know. Let me check with the captain. So what did he say? Okay, so bad news. What? The captain's dead. Please give me a red hair and let me be the richest person. Huh? Why didn't my hair kind of change, Mom? You have to wait 24 hours for it to appear. 24 hours? How am I supposed to prove to my friends that I'm rich? This is so stupid. My hair color is red. It means I'm rich. Yeah, my hair color is blue. I'm at a high level. What's your hair color, um, Brown? It hasn't appeared yet. Well, if it doesn't appear within 24 hours, you're done. We won't ever be friends what? again. What? Today we'll be learning division. Those with red hair enters the highest class, and those with blue enters the lowest. What class do I enter, sir? The outstanding class. Outstanding class? Yes. Why is there no one in this outstanding class? I'm the only one. The teacher's so annoying. White hair? I thought only red and blue existed. Why is your hair color white? Sir, what does white hair mean? Why is your hair color white? Sir, what does white hair mean? I don't think it means anything. No meaning? I suggest you go to the hairdresser and change your hair to another color. Okay, sir. Did you guys see Amara's white hair? Finally, someone with a different hair color. I want her hair. Sir, why is everyone looking at me? Ignore them. Follow me to the hairdresser. Okay. We've arrived. Please close your eyes while they fix your hair. Amara, there's something I want to ask you. Excuse me, sir. What did you want to say? I need a piece of your hair for research purposes. What? No! Oh my gosh, look at her hair. It's white. I wonder how much money we'd make if we sold it. Why them. are people so weird? Hey, white hair, follow me. No, you're a stranger. Just hurry up. Let go of me. Who are you? Listen, I'm here to save you. Why won't you hide? Hide? Oh, you still don't realize that they're against your white hair, do you? Let go of me. Who are you? I'm here to help you. Why won't you hide? Hide? So you still don't realize that they're against your white hair, do you? Why would they be against it? Your hair is magical. You can ask it anything and it will do it. Anything? Yes, they want to cut your hair because if they cut it, it won't work anymore. So I can ask anything, huh? I need to think of something worth asking. It's safer to stay here. Don't go out because people are looking for you. But how am I supposed to eat? Don't worry, I'll bring you food. I think it's time for me to go to sleep. It's getting late. Where is the white-haired girl? She's here, sir. Good job. You caught her before anyone else did. That's it. Take the scissors and cut her hair for me. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Amara. He offered me a lot of money to do Wait, this. Wait, one second. Before you do anything. Hair, please make everyone forget about my hair color. Did it work? Did what work? And why am I holding a scissors? What is this thing? Wait, so you can't see my hair color? Yes, I can. It's blue. You're poor. That explains why you're sleeping in this underground garage. Anyways, we have a job we need to get to. Hey babe, we should go to the carnival today. Good idea. Let's bring Jenny. Wait, no. Don't bring her. I was kind of hoping... Hey Jenny, want to come to the carnival with us? Yeah? Sick. See you there. Sorry, what did you say? Let's go on that ride. Yeah, let's go. I don't know, it's kind of... Okay, you're already going. Uh, there's only space for two people. Oh, um... You know what? It's fine, just go have fun, I'll stay here. Oh my gosh, thanks so much for winning me the earrings. Don't worry, babe, I didn't forget about you. A ball. Thanks. I'm gonna get us something to eat. I got a spray, let's share. Oh, um, I'm sharing pizza with Jenny. Hey Ryan, wanna come to the carnival? Who are you inviting? Oh, just my best friend. Hey Ryan, you wanna come to the carnival? Who are you inviting? Oh, just my best friend. No, don't bring him. What was that? You're coming. Sick, see you in a bit. 
Sorry, what did you say? Oh, look, it's him. Ryan, over here. So what ride should we go on? Let's go on that one. That was so much fun. I got you a little gift. Oh, flowers. Hey, babe, hold the ball. Thank you so much. I hope you like it. How did you know this was my favorite ice cream? That's it. I know you brought him to make me jealous. Relax. It's not a big deal. Did you really? No, I didn't. I'm leaving. Wait. Yeah, I'm leaving too. See what you just did? Now we're stuck here together. Good. Look, I'm really sorry for inviting Jenny. I shouldn't have. Amara, reach me my lipstick, please. Why so expensive? Hey, do you have a spare pencil? Yeah, here. See, now that's a more reasonable price. Amara, I got you your gift. Here you go. A bracelet. Do you like it? I mean, it's not too bad. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome, honey. Excuse me, you dropped your... Hey, what are you doing? It's empty. How is this worth 70 million? Oh, it doesn't work like that. Let me explain. It's empty. How is this worth 70 million? Oh, it doesn't work like that. Let me explain. Whenever you touch an item that belongs to someone else, you can see how much money they have in their bank so, account. So, how do you have 70 million in your bank account? Um, I have an online business. Yeah, right. What's it called? Um, exactly. You're lying. I have to go. I wonder how she made so much money. Maybe she robbed the bank. Why won't you tell me how you made so much money? You only have 25 pounds. How do you know how much money I have? I have the same power as you. I'm surprised you haven't used it to make money. What do you mean by that? You know how you can see how much money people have? Once the money appears above your head, just click it and it will get transferred to you. You know how you can see how much money people have? Once the money appears above your head, just click it and it will get transferred to you. Wait, that's how you have 70 million? Yeah, exactly. Hey Sarah, can I use your phone to call my mom? Mine's out of battery. Sure. Thanks. Hey, do you have a lip gloss I can borrow real quick? I forgot mine at home. Of course. Thank you so much. Hello? Amara, what have you done to yourself? Are you out of your mind? Please don't give me more than one day to live. Four minutes. Even better. You got four minutes only? How are you not freaking out? Why would I? I'm finally getting out of this shitty life. Only one minute left. Let's go. I'm not gonna let you die. There's no way. I'm afraid there's nothing you can do now, sis. Yes, I can just give you more time. No! What the hell is wrong with you? A whole month? I can just give my days away to someone who needs it. Very funny. That's not how it works. You can't give away any time that's been given to you. I hate you. Finally, it's been the longest month of my life. Not so fast. I'm not gonna let you die either. I'm not doing the same mistake again. Yes, it's finally happening. Three, two, one. Yes, it's finally happening. Three, two, one. Oh, come on. Please don't do this to me. You're still here? I thought your time ran out. Yes, I am. Because this stupid thing decided to give me infinite life. You should be thankful for that. Haven't you heard anything I've said? I do not want to live. Why is it always the person that wants to die that ends up living the longest? You can help me. Hit, kill me. You're insane. I'll pay you. Please? No. What did you do to make your time change anyway? I killed my teacher. What is actually wrong with what? you? I didn't know if you killed someone you'd end up with the remaining time. Too bad for you. You're stuck here forever now. No. No, I'm not. Because I have an idea. What's your idea? I'll just pay someone else to kill me. Hey, are you the girl with the infinite life? Yeah. I can help you get rid of it. How? It's very easy. All you need to do is... Mommy, what's a love maker? You can make people fall in love. Cool. She's lucky she has that ability. She's not lucky at all. It's a curse. Hey, you're the love maker. Can you make Jake fall in love yes, with me? Yes, of course. Okay, bye. You're welcome. Hey, love maker. Can you do me and Emily? Sure. Thanks. Hey, love maker. Please do me and... Do you even know my name? Yeah, it's, um... Um... Doesn't work on myself, I guess. Hey. Hey! I was wondering if... If you could make Sarah like me. Mm -hmm. Hey, love maker, can you...
I'm tired. Can you just leave me alone for a bit? I know you hate when people ask, but can you make me love myself? I know you hate when people ask, but can you make me love myself? Hey, honey, how's school? Mom, do you know if I can make someone love themselves? You can, but it comes with a price. What's the price? When you use your ability to help someone find love in themselves, you'll lose the ability to love yourself. Is that something you're willing to do? Hey, I really want to help you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm here for, so... Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I could never thank you enough. I'm glad I could help. Hey, love maker, I really like Jessica, can you... Can you do me and... I'm never gonna find love again, am I? Amara. What do you want? I'm sorry for asking you to make Sarah fall in love with me. It was a mistake. I'm in love with you and I really hope you can be in love with me too. I'm in love with you and I really hope you can be in love with me too. I don't know if I can. I mean, I want to, but I'm the love maker. I'm supposed to make people fall in love, not make myself fall in love. Only if there was a way to get my love back. There is a way, but it requires you to lose your ability. As much as I love my ability, I can't live like this forever. I think it's time for me to give it up. Wait, are you sure? I've never been more sure. This time. So how do you feel? I feel amazing. It's over. You ready to start living your life? Let's go. My soulmate likes wine red. So you have to wear an outfit of that color to find your soulmate. <sighs> what? Mom, I'm going to school. And why aren't you wearing a red outfit? I don't like red, and I don't even care about finding my soulmate. Amora, I met my soulmate. Seriously? How? I'm wearing the color he likes. Well, I'm really happy for you. Amora, come with me to the princess event. Princess event? Yes. Can I wear whatever clothes I want there? No, you have to wear the color your soulmate likes. If you don't, you'll get kicked out. What's the purpose of this event anyway, and why do we have to wear the color our soulmate likes? The prince wants to find his soulmate. If a girl wears a dress with the prince's favorite color, it means he's our soulmate. I don't have any dresses. I only have this top and one red. It's fine. That top looks great. <sighs> what do you think? It's beautiful. I'm sure you'll be the most beautiful girl at the event. Let's go to this great event. Let's go. What do you think? It's beautiful. I'm sure you'll be the most beautiful girl at the event. Let's go to this great event. Let's go. Finally, we're here. This place looks amazing. Sarah, look. There's a girl with the same color of clothes as me. One of you two are violating the rules. No, I'm not lying. My soulmate's color is this tone of red. Okay, I believe you. In today's event, my son, the prince, will find his soulmate. The girl that is wearing a dress with his favorite color is his soulmate. Why that face, Amara? I'm a bit nervous. Where the hell is the bathroom? You don't watch where you're going? I'm so sorry, I just... The prince should fire a person like you. I'm so clumsy. I'm sorry, let me introduce myself. My name is Liam, the prince of this palace. Wait, so he's the prince? I would like to announce that my favorite color is... I would like to announce that my favorite color is wine red. Wine red? That means I'm his soulmate. Girl with the red dress, come here. He doesn't seem angry with me for what I did. Yes, your majesty. Sorry for earlier. I didn't know you were the prince. Of course. I forgive you. You're my soulmate. Everyone's saying Amara's the prince's soulmate. Yeah, the prince's favorite color is exactly that tone of red she's wearing. Don't celebrate before victory. What do you mean by that? Did you forget? Yesterday there was a girl with the same color top as you. But after the announcement from the prince, she left. But why'd she leave? Maybe she's hiding because she's planning something. Planning something? Yeah, so be careful, Amara. That means I have to marry the prince as soon as possible. Amara, come with me. Now that I know you're my soulmate, do you accept to marry me? Yes, I accept. The wedding's about to start. I just hope that girl doesn't show up. Hey, wait, she's the fake soulmate. The wedding's about to start. I just hope that girl doesn't show up. Hey, wait, she's the fake soulmate. Who are you and why are you wearing clothes with that color? I'm also wearing the shade of red because it's my soulmate's favorite color. Whoever's wearing it as well is lying. I'm not lying. That's my soulmate's favorite color. Both of you, stop it. It's my favorite color, so I will prove who my soulmate is. Everyone believed that she was the prince's soulmate. Yeah, and she continues to wear red clothes, even though she knows her soulmate doesn't like that color. Do you know what? The only liar is you. We'll see. You're getting kicked out of this palace very soon.
So now I'm going to prove who my soulmate is. How are you going to prove it? Just say what colour you like. I will wear it with the colour I like. I like purple. I like grey. Okay, I'll put the clothes on. What's the delay? Look, the prince is coming. What's the delay? Look, the prince is coming. So, looks like I was right. The prince is wearing grey clothes, meaning I'm his soulmate. Grey? Is it true you already knew the prince liked the shade of red, which is why you wore it on purpose? No, I'm telling the truth. My soulmate's favourite colour is white and red. You broke the rules. Get out of this palace, now. What? Finally, she's been kicked out of the palace. The prince's real soulmate is beautiful, right Amara? Too bad your lie didn't last long. Why are you covering your red outfit? Why wear this colour? I don't even like red. I don't know why I even bothered. Everyone just thinks I'm lying and the prince kicked me out of the palace. What? He kicked you out? The prince I know would never do that. Yeah, well, he did. Amara, the prince needs your help. He's in danger. My help? He should ask his soulmate for help. Don't be like that. You have to help him. Why would I? He kicked me out. What if I told you that wasn't the prince? What if I told you that wasn't the real prince? What? The one that appeared with grey clothes yesterday at the palace wasn't the real prince, it was his twin brother. The prince has a twin brother? Yeah, and he's trying to take his throne. So we have to find the prince, but where? His twin brother probably locked him up somewhere, so we have to find him as soon as possible. You're still wearing the prince's favourite colour. You do know that he's found his soulmate, right? You do know that that wasn't the real prince, right? Stop making excuses. You're just jealous he didn't pick you. The real prince is in danger. Prove it. I'm not going to prove anything. You decide whether to believe it or not. You have to find the prince soon so people will believe but you. But how are we going to find the prince? What colour do you like? Purple. Why? Because the real prince must be wearing purple clothes at midnight tonight. It's already late and so far no sign from the prince. Hachu! Amara, did you hear that? Someone just sneezed. It's already late and so far no sign from the prince. Amara, did you hear that? Someone just sneezed. The prince! Let's get him out of here. Come on, get up. Your majesty, you're wearing purple. Does that mean you're my soulmate? I think so, yes. <coughs> we have to take him to the hospital. Fortunately, there's no permanent damages. He just needs to rest at home. Take him back to the palace. Okay, we will. Thank you. What are you doing here? The prince rejected you and kicked you out of the palace. They won't believe you until the prince wakes up. Then we wait for him to wake up. The prince's soulmate is getting married tomorrow, but why is Amara still wearing red? She's just desperate. You all know the truth when the prince wakes up. Whoever that girl is marrying is the prince's twin brother. Stop making stuff up. You're just jealous the prince chose me and not you. Soon, you'll see that I'm not lying. If it's true, bring him. I can't do that. He needs to rest. Well, I'll only believe you when I see him with my own eyes. How's the prince doing? I'm doing fine. Come, let's prove everyone wrong. How's the prince doing? I'm doing fine. Come, let's go prove them wrong. What are you going to prove? I'm going to prove to them that I'm your soulmate. Come, let's go. There they are, the fake prince and his soulmate. How on earth are the two princes? I already told you, the person next to you isn't the real prince. I am the real prince. That one there is just trying to pretend so that he can become the next king. Don't lie, you set up a trap, but thankfully Amara helped me. How about we ask father who the next king will be? I agree. I agree too. We all know my soulmate will be the next king. I knew you were on this with him, but it's okay. Let's see who's gonna win. Your Majesty, we need to take care of the king. And why are you saying this? I'm afraid they're going to do something to him. Your twin brother really wants to be king and take your throne. Don't worry, I'm going to introduce you to the king. I would like to announce that the son that will take over my throne is... I would like to announce that the son who will take over my throne is... Amara Soulmate. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. What? That's not fair. My soulmate was supposed to be king. You know very well that your soulmate was not next in line for the throne. Mine was. But father, you can't do this. I'm your son too. Yes, you are. But did you forget what he did to the queen? Queen? What did he do to the queen? He killed the queen, his own mother, and sold her crown. I still haven't thanked you for saving you me. You don't need to thank me. I did what was right. It was also thanks to my best friend. I wouldn't have been able to do it without her. The important thing now is that everyone knows you're my soulmate. Amara? Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you for saving my son. Also, you look beautiful. Thank you. You ready to walk down the aisle? So ready. Let's go. Look at how ugly I am. Of course I'm going to pick the beauty pill. 
Is that hot, the ugliest girl in school? Yeah, that's hot. What do you mean? Why is my beauty pill not working? Class, we all know there will be a contest for prom princess. Who's signing up? Sir, I'd like to sign up. Why would you sign up? You look like Shrek's daughter. I didn't just sign up. I'm also going to win and be the prom princess. Don't make me laugh. Let's bet on it. All right, let's do it. Whoever loses the bet needs to leave the school forever. Deal. The pill needs to load quick. Prom is about to start. Finally, it's time. Three, two, one. Sir, it's fine. She has unlimited breaths. <sighs> I'm still alive. How is this possible? Klaus, is everyone okay? Yeah. How did we survive? We were lucky I picked unlimited breaths. That's a lie. I'm the one that has unlimited breaths and saved us all. Sir, that's not true. She's lying. <sighs> well, if that's the case, let's do a competition. I accept. Whoever wins can prove that they can breathe underwater. And you can only do that if you've picked unlimited breaths. You both ready? Yes. yes. Okay, let's do it then. Three, two, one. Are you both ready? Yes. yes. Okay, let's do it then. Three, two, one. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. See, I told you I was the one with unlimited breaths. Jessica, why would you lie about your breaths? I didn't lie. Well, you clearly did. You lost the competition. Whatever, girls, let's go. You saved our lives. How can we pay you back? No, it's fine, really. I'm glad I could help. Amara, you're the best. I'm sorry we're all mean to you. We really appreciate you helping us. As a thank you, we want you to have this. What is this? We all decided to give you some money. I hope it helps the situation at home. A million pounds? No, I can't take this. Take it. You deserve it. Mom. Hey, honey. I'm really sorry for the way I spoke to you earlier. It's fine. Hey, take this. You don't have to sell the house anymore. Good morning, honey. Morning, Mom. Huh? 200%? Why is this percentage thing above my head? Oh, that's the level of love someone feels for you. Wow, so your love for me is 200%? That's right, honey. <sighs> hey, Amara. Hey. Let's walk to class together. 10%? This whole time you said you love me like a sister. Turns out you were just lying. What? What are you talking about? There's no point pretending anymore. You're just fake. I thought she was my best friend. I can't believe she was pretending this whole time. Hey, babe. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah, your love level for me is at 100%, right? Yeah, of course it is. If you don't like me, why are you dating me? We're over. Mom, home. My daughter's so stupid, you can easily lie to her. What did you lie about? I told her it was a love percentage, but it's actually a hate percentage. My daughter's so dumb, you can easily lie to her. What did you lie about? I told her it was a love percentage, but it's actually a hate percentage. Mom! Honey, what are you doing here? I thought you were at You school. lied to me. Now because of you, I've lost all my friends at school and I broke up with my boyfriend. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. No, no, you're not. Why do you hate me so much? Because you're a spoiled little brat. What kind of a mother hates her own child? I'm not your real mom. What? Your dad cheated on me and your real mom wasn't ready to raise you. So your dad left you here with me. He's always traveling for work and I've had to raise you all on my own. Is that why you hate me? I hate you because I haven't been able to live my life how I was supposed to. I lost my job because I had to take care of you. Well, I'm sorry I was such a headache to you. Hey. What do you want? I'm sorry for what I said yesterday. You called me fake. I know, but it was all a misunderstanding. Will you forgive me? Knowing people's age or knowing people's address? I choose knowing people's age because often people lie about how old they are. Morning, mom. Morning, honey. Huh? 26 years old? Why did you lie and say you were 50? Because I'm embarrassed. I gave birth to you when I was only 12. 12? Does that mean you were still in school? Yes, but I got kicked out. Since you're still young, why don't you get any more kids? I really want a sister. Giving birth isn't that easy. What if we adopt someone? Adopt? Okay, I don't care as long as I get a sibling. Hey, bestie. Hey, Amara. 17 years old? How come you're 17 years old? We're still in first year of high school. Because I didn't go to school for two years, but please don't tell anyone. Calm down, I won't. Amara, this is your report card. Thanks, sir. Why am I grade so low? Because you're not smart. Raise my grades, otherwise I'll tell the principal that you're 70 years old and he'll kick you out because you're not allowed to work when you're 70, you should be retired. Okay, I'll raise your grades, but please don't tell the principal. That's more like it. You want to be my girlfriend? We're the same age. You think you can lie to me? You're a few years older than me and I don't want to waste my time with someone like you. Bye. Hey mom, your new sister's here. Why don't you go get to know her? You already adopted someone? 
Yes, she's in the living room. I can't wait to meet her. Hey, what's your name? My name's Olivia. Olivia? Yes, sis. Sis, why are you looking at me like that? It's nothing. Why can't I see Olivia's age? I need to find out how old she is. Olivia, your room's right there. Let me help you with your bag. I wonder what she has in here. Huh? Since when did Olivia have dentures? I let you hold my bag, not go through it. This is yours? No, I got them from my orphanage. Here, give me my bag. Mom, we have to kick my new sister out. What's wrong? There's something wrong with her. I can't see how old she is. Maybe there's an error in the system. But just now, I found dentures in her bag. She already said it belonged to her mother in the orphanage. There's someone new in your house. How did you know that? I know you're trying to find out how old she is. Wear these glasses, they'll help you. These glasses? Where's the old lady? How come she's gone? Olivia, since when did you wear makeup? You're still young, you can't wear makeup. I'm trying to cover my moles. Moles? Yes. Anyway, look, I got new glasses. Glasses? Wait, aren't those? Yes, soon I'll know Olivia's age. Anyway, look, I got new glasses. Glasses? Aren't those? Yes, soon I'll know Olivia's age. Can I please borrow those glasses? Give them to me. How old are you actually, Olivia? I already told you, I'm eight. No, you can't lie to me. You're 250 years old, but how come you're still in this world? What the heck? I'm still eight. Mom! Mom, you have to get Olivia out of here. She's not a person. What's wrong? You've always been begging for a sister. She's 250 years old. You're jealous of her, aren't you? No, I'm not. Please, you have to believe me. You know what? Get out of this house. Only come back when you fix that attitude of yours. Fine, I'll leave. Luckily, I've got the address of Olivia's orphanage. Why are you here? I'm looking for this address. That's the address of a nursing home. Nursing home? Yes, as far as I know, there's no orphanage around there. I'm still gonna check it out. Okay, when you get there, follow the signs. Why is there only old people around here? Why are you here, young lady? Is there an orphanage around this area? No, only nursing homes. Wanna come yeah, in? Yeah, sure. Excuse me, miss. You can't enter this home. It's only for the elderly. I just wanted to ask, do you know a girl named Olivia? She's from an orphanage in this area. No, I've never met a girl named Olivia. But the address is correct. Anyway, I'm going to go in and check. Okay, but I warn you, it's very dangerous. Yeah, whatever. I knew it. There is an orphanage. Look at all the kids. Are you here to adopt us? How are you so old but look so young? Everyone in this orphanage are like this. Okay, this is creepy. I need to get out of here. Emily, hurry up and get me. I sent you the address. Okay, I'll call you back. I'm just going to check it. Amara, the address you sent me isn't appearing on the map. Also, it doesn't exist. Hey, all of you, why isn't this address being detected? People who enter the forest can't leave unless they've adopted someone first. What? Okay, does anyone know Olivia, the owner of these dentures? That's Benjamin's. Benjamin? Yes. So, does that mean he's a guy? Yes, he's a boy, but he looks like a girl. Anyway, where did you get the dentures from? He's at my house right now with my mom. Then your mom is in danger right now because he is... He's at my house right now with my mom. Then your mom is in danger right now because he is... He's a psychopath. Psychopath? Yes. How do I get out of here so I can save my mom? You won't be able to get out unless you adopt someone or someone adopts you. Emily, can you contact the nursing home here so you can adopt me? Adopt you? Where the hell are you now? I'll send you the number now. Please call them quick. Where's the owner of this nursing home? The owner's right in front of you. A thousand years? What do you need? You own this nursing home? Don't be surprised by my small body. The older I get, the smaller I get. I want to ask, my friend contacted you to adopt me. Yes, but I refuse. Huh? Why? Because she needs to be an adult in order to adopt you. Then how do I get out of here? Someone's adopted you. Why are you lying? The owner just said my friend couldn't adopt me. It's not your friend. Not my friend? Then who is it? The security guard? Thank you so much for saving me. Can you take me to the police station? Sorry, I can't. I only adopted you to help you out. I have to look after this nursing home. Okay, thank you, sir. Officer, how can I help you? There's a 250 year old man living at my house and he pretends to be a kid. That's crazy. I don't believe you. I can see people's ages. 
If that's true, what's my age? You're 50 years old. That was just a coincidence. How old am I? You're 45. Okay, take us to your mom's house. Your mom's not in here. She left a note saying she went to the nursing home to look for you. That means she's stuck there. Officer, can you help me adopt my mom so she can get out of there? Hello. Huh? You were the security guard from yesterday. How did you turn into a child? Come on, we need to hurry up. Why is there no sound coming from inside? We have to break in. Three, two, one.